Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to show you the plugin Weglot. Now Weglot is a plugin that translates your website into multiple languages. So on the web we now have a global presence or a global audience. So a multilingual website is a must have when you're doing business online. One way that you can check where your visitors are coming from is in Google Analytics. If you don't have Google Analytics set up, I would recommend setting it up and then you can view where your audience is based from and see which translations would be helpful to cater to these different people. So there's so many different languages that you can set up on Weglot and I'll get into that as we dive into the plugin a little bit further here. But I just want to go over some of the benefits of Weglot. And the first one is that there's a quick and easy setup for Weglot. There's no compatibility issues because it works with every WordPress theme and plugin and it's easily able to manage the translations that you're going to be doing. So you can do it right from a dashboard on this Weglot site once you sign up for an account and log in. And that brings me to the last thing here. You can start a free 10 day trial, no risk, no credit card required. So it's really easy to start and get set up for free and try it out and see if it's a fit for you and your business that you're doing online. So with that out of the way, let's dive into actually setting up this plugin, installing it and seeing how it works quickly and easily here within this tutorial. So if I navigate over here, you can see that there is a demo site set up. If I go and I refresh it, you can see it's in English. It says my blog, my WordPress blog, explore the colorful world, a wonderful gift. And it's just in English here, the menus in English. There may be some lorem ipsum throughout the site, but in general, the language is English that it's using here. So let's dive in to actually setting up this plugin and seeing how it works for translating a page here. So if we go back over to the dashboard, let's go to plugins here, go to add new, and then we're just going to search for a week lot in the plugins section here, and it should be the first one to come up. This is it. As you can see, it's one of the highest rated plugins within WordPress, especially for the translation plugins, basically a perfect five star rating with over 20,000 active installs at this time. I'm just going to click install now. And then we're going to hit activate once it's installed. And it says right here with this pop-up, Weglot Translate is installed but not yet configured. You need to configure Weglot here. So we can just click on this to get it set up and it will take us to the API configuration area. So if we go back over here, you'll need to sign up for an account or start your free day trial and then verify it via email that you do have the account. You just confirm it via email and I'm just going to log in because I've actually logged out of the account so we can view this area and I'll log in real quickly here. And this is just showing you what I've already actually set up on another demo site here. I'm going to go into my settings. We go to project settings and if I scroll down, I'll be able to get to my API key and I'm just going to copy the key right here and then I'll go back over and I'll configure the API key here. So once I've done that, I can go down. My original language is English and I'm going to leave that as is. And down here we can choose the destination language, which is the language that we want to translate it into. And I'm just going to go in here and do Portuguese. And here I'm going to just click save changes. And now it says, well done. Your website is now multilingual. So if we went back over here and we'll just refresh. So now we can see that we have this little icon in the lower right. It's in the lower right by default, but you can change that. And if we want to, we can go change it and it will change the PT right here for Portuguese. And now you can see that the URL says slash PT and they do make the URLs SEO friendly. It's always going to have this slash PT or let's say slash FR slash for French or something like that. So it will change the total look and feel of the SEO content. It will make it more SEO friendly and it will change the overall language on the site. So I know this is right where it says maravilloso and that means marvelous or basically like excellent or great. Let's see what it says in English and it says a wonderful gift. So it's saying wonderful maravilloso would be wonderful in Portuguese. So that's how you can change it pretty quickly right there. And it's already set up and ready to go, but you have a lot more options within Weglot. So let's dive into a few more of those now. If we go back into the dashboard over here, we can go and close this right here. And now we have this Weglot section on the left side. We can click it if we're not in there already. And you can scroll down 
and now you have more options besides the three that we just set up above. And the first one is button preview. You can change that right here. You can show it with Portuguese by default if you want to. And that's just an option that you have. I'm going to go back here and I'm actually going to make it English by default. You can change the shape of it. You can make it a drop down with flags, without flags. So let's just say if you don't have flags, it'll be pretty basic looking. I think the flags gives it a little more feel and draws the eye to it for people that might need this translation. You can have it as a drop down or not. You can have it like this side by side. So I'm going to take it off and make it side by side just so you can see what that looks like. So you can choose if it's going to be rectangle matte, rectangle shiny. You can see the difference right here, square, or if you want it to be circles. I'm going to make it rectangle matte just by default. And then we can scroll down. It says with the name, check if you want to display the languages. So if you uncheck that, it won't be next to it. It'll just be the flags. I think with this is better to have this, but that's just my opinion. And you can see if you want the full name, you can have it there as well. And so that might be good for people that really want to see the whole thing. I kind of like it having a whole name rather than the initials or abbreviations of it. You can also override with CSS. And it says don't change it unless you want specific styles for your button. I'm going to leave it as is for this tutorial here. And then you can also choose the position of your button. As I said, by default, it's going to be down here in the lower right. But if you want to, you can make it in the Appearance Menu section or Appearance Widgets as a widget. Let's go into that here in a second here. Let's dive into Appearance Menus, and we're going to add it in here. So what we're going to do is just scroll down here. We'll go to where it says Weglot Switcher. Click on this, Add to Menu, and now I'm going to save the menu here. And let's just go back over to the site real quick, refresh it, and now we have it up here. Looks pretty darn good, I think with this here in the site itself. Now, if you want to, you can go back and change that and also do the same kind of thing in the widgets area as well with the Weglot widget. And you can just go and drag it and drop it into whatever section of this that you want. So let's just say you want it in the blog area here on the sidebar. And now we have it, I'll put it near the top. I'll put it right by where it says search because I think it's gonna be an important option for people that need that. I'll go back over here. Let's go to the blog page. And if we just click on a post here, we can see that it's in the sidebar as well on a standard post here. So we can change it to Portuguese as well here. And it says Bemvindo, which is welcome to WordPress. So you can understand that there's translations being done here on the actual site once you change it in these widgets here. And this, and this is an option as well as the other option to have it right here in the menu. I actually kind of prefer the menu, but I could see where if you have a blog, it could really come in handy, especially if you have a multilingual or a blog that's trying to reach people in various countries. It can be very beneficial to have that right there in the widget that someone could just see it every time they're on your blog trying to read the post and translate it very easily. Now you may have noticed that Weglot by default translates all of the content. So let's just click on Portuguese. And once we translate like that, you can see even the menu itself has this happen. It translates the whole menu, translates the entire website into Portuguese. Now that is an awesome, awesome feature. And it does this by default. I'm glad that that's the default in all honesty, because who wants to just translate a section here, section there, section here, section there. I want the whole site to be translated. And then if I need to edit certain specific sections, I can do that. And Weglot makes that very easy to do. So if we go back over into the dashboard itself here, let's go down to where Weglot is. And we'll click this on the left sidebar here. I'm going to scroll down. And down here, there's a couple other options so you can do translation exclusion and this is what I was saying if you want to have it excluded from a specific URL you can add that here and you can exclude from certain blocks like you can enter a CSS selector of blocks you don't want to translate in this area and you can do that in the sidebar menu paragraph anywhere on the site so it allows you to easily do that in this specific case here for excluding. They also give you some other options here, some additional options like auto redirection, translating email, translating AMP, search WordPress, so you can translate that as well in private mode. Now, 
An important thing to note about private mode is if you don't want the translated version of the site to be public yet, this is what you should use with this private mode setting here. And it will activate private mode and only website admins will be able to access the site in Portuguese if you have that activated. So after you're happy with the settings, you'll just hit save changes here and you'll see all the changes go into effect that you just made. But really, it's not even done yet because Weglot makes things a lot easier for you if you have specific things that you want to translate. Or if you're not happy with the translation that it allows you to change very easily. So what we can do from here is we can actually go back into our Weglot account. Let's go to the home page within our sign-in. If you need to, you can sign in the upper right of the home page. And you can see that it will give you the current plan you're on. This is the free plan because I just did a 10-day trial. It tells you your current word usage, how many words you're using on your website that's linked to this Weglot trial. Your human translations, which I don't have any right now, but you can actually get those. And the number of languages, and I just have Portuguese only in this case. So it gives you that information right off the bat. And then there's also different information on the left side. The one in particular that I wanted to dive into first here is the translations list. And in this area, it basically can take example text from our website, from this demo site that we have set up here. We can take text from it and it will translate it. Now let's say we want to edit a certain thing on this page. So let's just say we want to edit where, it's be, where it says explore the colorful world and it says explore o mundo colorido and it says machine translate it here so let's just say we want to translate that ourselves. now I apologize for my bad Portuguese there now let's go and change what the actual translation is so let's say we're not happy with that and let's just say we wanted to change it to say something else and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make this say um, Explore o mundo lindo instead, which would be explore the beautiful world or something. Explore the pretty world, the beautiful world. So in that case, I can go and then I can click right here, which is marked as reviewed. And now it says human reviewed here instead of machine translated. So that gives you a way that you can actually make edits to your website. And that's how you basically change the translation to be human verified by adding those steps in. And now we see it says Explore O Mundo Lindo here. And if we go back to the site and refresh it, we see right here Explore O Mundo Lindo instead of the colorful world. So it already translates this automatically from what we just made this change to. Another thing that I wanted to point out is you can actually change all the, me the metadata for the site here. So you can do that very easily for changing things like titles, descriptions, all kinds of things. And that's very important for SEO. And it's worth noting that you can also do that with this Weglot plugin here. Now, if we move back into the dashboard of the Weglot login here that we're in a Weglot site, if we go back, back over here and go to Visual Editor on the left side, we can actually edit and modify translations. And let's just go to click Start Editing here. And to edit this, we're going to just click on this bar here. And it says a presente mundo, which would be a wonderful gift and instead of that we're going to put lindo in here and let's just see what that translates so i'm going to put okay and now that i'm happy with that i'm going to go up here and change it to be portuguese and it says un lindo mundo now i don't even know if that really makes sense in portuguese but i'm trying to say a beautiful world again it says un mundo lindo here and it says un lindo mundo here so it might be their way around it might be mundo lindo but Anyway, you get the idea. You can change the text right here with the visual editor. It's pretty nice to have. I'm using Elementor on the site by default, and you're able to just change things right on the fly. And then to be able to do that with the translation tool, man, that's just awesome that they have that and the ability to do that. So let's just back out of this completely. And now when we're back over here, let's go and look at some of the other things. If we go to translation tools here, so these are four translation exceptions that you might have. And basically, if you want your brand name to never be translated, you can add it here. That would be an example of something that you might want to keep regardless of the translation. And that's an example of that. I think that might be the primary thing that you would use this for, but there are probably some other use cases as well. And then if we go over to professional translations. So 
You can easily send translation requests directly to professional translators inside of Weglot. It's a pretty easy process to do. The translations will be sent to the professional translation partner. After we get our professional translations, we can go back to the translation list. And then if we go down, let's just say we wanted to change where it translate my WordPress blog, we can add a professional order here and have the translation added to this section. Now lastly, I want to go over to where it says the project settings. And this is where I was earlier to get my API key. It's down here at the bottom if we scroll down a little bit. But the important thing that I wanted to show you here is you can choose whether to display automatic translations right here by toggling this on or off and then clicking on save changes right here. Now if you do uncheck this, only the human reviewed and professional translations will be shown on your website. So that is something very important to note when you're going through the Weglot setup here. The big thing that I really like about this whole section of the site is that you can manage all of your translations directly from your Weglot account. There's no coding required, it's easy to use, and you don't need to bother a developer would make a change on translations within your website. You can really do it yourself and outsource a lot of the work if you need help with the translations right through their own platform here by professional translators. So I really wanted to show that and just explain that it's a great option to have and they give you so many features in this. This 10 day trial is worth taking advantage of. And I'm just going to log out here just to go back and show you some other things here. If we go over to the pricing, there's a few different plans here and options. Now I just want to start by saying they have monthly and yearly. You get two months free compared to the monthly cost if you do it month by month. So it is worth taking advantage of a yearly cost here or yearly plan. The two main pricing things you need to be aware of is it's going to depend on the number of words that you need translated. And within your dashboard you can see how many translated words you really have. I only had about 370 or so I believe on my site, roughly that range. But this is just a demo site. If you have a really big business like an e-commerce business with lots of different products and you're shipping all over the world, it makes sense to look at how many words you have by going through the free trial, seeing if it's worth it for you, seeing if it's a good fit for you, which I assume it's going to be because this is a great plugin, and then see how many words you have in your site and how much it would cost. If you're a big company and you have, need 200,000 words, let's say, 41 euros a month is nothing if you're going to be selling to more people all over the world. It's a no-brainer. Even the enterprise or the corporate could be a no-brainer if you have literally millions of words that need to be translated on your site. The other thing you need to be considering is the number of languages you need translated. If you're going to be going with a bigger plan, you're going to have unlimited translations. And the smaller plans here, you can still translate five languages on a business plan of 50,000 words. That gives you a lot of bang for your buck. So these plans are giving you a lot when you consider how much you can actually benefit from them and get from them if you're selling or reaching a global audience. So I just wanted to quickly recap a few things about this again just to finalize this video here. I wanted to just say it's a quick and simple setup. You can just go back through this video and have this set up in like two minutes or less because it's so easy to set up this product here and this plugin. There's no compatibility issues and there's no maintenance required. It's going to work with your theme. It's going to work with your plugins. I've never had an issue. I've tried it on numerous sites now. I really, really like this plugin and it's so nice that it's hassle free. And then the other thing, you can easily manage your translations. It's going to automatically give you that first layer of automatic translations. And then if you need to, you can edit them so easily within the dashboard of the Weglot site. And I also just wanted to mention, since I've used this on several sites now, that the support that they have is awesome for them. If you need help, the Weglot team is there to support you and help you. And it's great. It's totally worth trying out for yourself. I really hope you learned something from this video and that you were able to learn how to easily navigate your way around with Weglot. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you consider trying out Weglot for yourself. Thanks for viewing everyone. Have a great day.